Our next problem faced has us solving for the protein caloric content based upon the carbohydrate and lipid values. Our patient requires 2,500 calories per day, with 77% of the non-protein calories coming from carbohydrates and a separate 250 ml 20% lipid emulsion that is hung over a 10 hour period once every 24 hours. The question is, how many grams of protein is this patient receiving or is this determination not possible due to the lack of information provided? To be able to determine how many protein calories the patient is receiving, we need to have or be able to calculate the total kcals they are receiving as well as the total non-protein calories that are being administered. Are these two items either given or can they be calculated? The answer is yes, so that means we have enough information to solve. The total calories to be administered is provided as one of the givens. We can calculate the total non-protein calories based upon the percentage of carbohydrate calories given as well as the amount of lipids that are being administered. We had completed these steps in a previous video. So here we present a condensed version of the question again for reference and we break out the givens. The total calories administered equal 2500. The percentage of non-protein calories from carbohydrate equals 77 percent and the lipid quantity being administered is a 20 percent lipid emulsion at 250 mLs. Since this is a math problem there are many ways to solve. We will always try to focus on finding the simplest value first and proceeding from there. The lipid emulsion here will be the first item as we have everything required to find its caloric content. A 20% lipid emulsion provides 2 kcals per cc or ml. Since the 250 ml solution is being administered, multiply 250 by 2.0 calories per ml. Solving, we find that 500 calories are being administered via the emulsion. Remember, non-protein calories are just the carbohydrate and lipid calories added together. With this in mind, and reviewing the givens, 77% of the non-protein calories are carbohydrate, so just subtract from 100 to get the lipids percent. We did this in a previous video. 100 minus 77 equals 23, so the 500 calories from lipids represents 23% of the non-protein calories. This is a big piece of the puzzle. Juggling the numbers, we can create the formula total non-protein kcals equals lipid calories divided by non-protein calorie percentage. Replacing with values, we now have total non-protein kcals is equal to 500 divided by 0 0.23, which equals just under 2174 kcals. Do not make the mistake of thinking that this is your answer. This is the total non-protein kcals. We need to subtract from the total kcal value to get the protein value. So 2500, which is the total calories administered, minus 2174, which is the value that we just solved for, and the result is 326. This is still not your answer. The question is asking for the number of protein grams. We solve just for calories. So 326 calories divided by 4 kcals per gram equals 81 and a half grams of protein, which is your final answer. Up next, we'll pose these same types of questions using different wording to show you how differently the same question can be asked. RDStudy.com video tutorials are produced and owned by Nutrition News Network, LLC. Any copying, reuse, or redistribution, in full or in part, for any purpose without the written consent of Nutrition News Network, LLC, is prohibited. All rights reserved.